on, somebody give God a big clap of offering. Come on, if you're watching us online, wherever you are, I want you to lift your hands and just say, Baba God, thank you. Come on, worship the living King of Kings. I want you to open your mouth, whatever it is that God has done for you, whatever it is that God has brought you through, I want you to lift up your voice and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For all you have done for thank me. Thank you, Jesus. This week we celebrated Thanksgiving, but it's not just that day where we have to give God thanks. Bible says in all things, give thanks. Amen. So that means in every situation, when, whether it be good, whether it be bad, the Lord declares and he demands that we give him all the praise that he's deserving of. So I want you to lift your mouth. I want you to open your mouth. I want you to lift your voice and just begin to give God glory. Come on, don't be silent in this place. Don't be silent if you're watching us at home. I just want you to give God Has the Lord been good unto yes. you? I don't know what he brought you out of, but I can tell you I have a testimony. Woo! The God we serve is a covenant-keeping God. In time past, throughout the Bible, we see Abraham, we see Moses, they made covenants with God. And the God that they served, the God that we serve, was able to fulfill it. So there is nothing too hard for the God that we serve. He is Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Your enemies will try to destroy you, but the Lord will be your anchor. The sun will not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. He will surround you. He will cause a hedge of a protection to be around you. That's the type of God that we serve. Yes. The God that is capable to do what we think is impossible. The God of all possibilities. Come on, lift your hands and lift your voices right here. Tell God you are my anchor. You are the covenant keeping God. I don't know what covenant you have made with God. I don't know what you have told God. But I can tell you this. You may think that he has not fulfilled his part. But as long as you do what you have made, told God you would do, then the God we serve is capable and he will keep his promises concerning your life. Hallelujah. We're gonna just declare this. You are the covenant keeping God. Woo. You are the covenant keeping God. I call you Yahweh, covenant keeping God. You are the covenant. Can you help us sing it out? Say, You are the covenant keeping
book of Sam, Sam chapter 121, the Bible says, he says, he will keep you and he will never leave you. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. He will be an anchor unto you. Woo! Come on, just lift your hands and lift your voice. You said that he won't forsake you he'll walk beside you and that is all that matters the sun will smite me and the moon it will not hurt me the flood will sweep me the Lord is my anchor the sun will smite Oh, 
your word says also that you will raise a standard for the people of God 
I thank you, O oh God, that your word also says whew, that you will lay a table before us in the presence of our enemies. I thank you, God, that your word also says that a thousand shall fall <laughs> at our right and a ten thousand at our left, but it will not come near us. So, God, we thank you for you. We thank you for assurance of your word. We bless your holy name. We honor and we adore you. We bless you, Jesus. Let all those who have been sick be healed. Let all those who are full of despair receive joy. Let all those that came weary cast their burdens onto you. I thank you, Lord, that you have never seen the righteous, that we will never see the righteous forsaken. And we have never seen it because you will supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. We thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name that we have worship. Come on, somebody, clap your hands and give God praise. If you're watching us online, clap your hands and give God praise in your home. In Jesus' name.